Hey guys, Kay Bates here. Today I am at Erica Rebecca Hair Studio. And I am here with the lovely Rebecca, Erica Rebecca, sorry. Hi. So uh -huh. she is beautiful and her hair looks great. So compliments to her. So we are at her studio, as I said, and if you look around, everything in here is like shabby chic, well put together, really rustic, definitely my kind of vibe. So this is really cute. Aw, thank you so much. This was like one of my favorite things about getting a suite was being able to decorate it myself. I've always loved decorating. It's kind of a little specialty on the side I like doing. So I really enjoyed being able to come in here and kind of put my little natural home touch to my suite. So That's it's been fun. Awesome, yeah, really cute. So how long have you been doing hair? I have been doing hair for 22 years. Wow. Dude, and she time. looks like she's 22, so I don't even know how she can be doing hair for that long. <laughs> you look amazing. Thank you so much. Thank you, thank you, you thank good. you. So 22 mm -hmm. years, and what, I mean, what inspires you? What keeps you coming back? Um, honestly, I have a strong passion for styling hair. That's kind of my expertise. Okay. I do a lot of weddings. Okay. So um, I absolutely love working with brides. It's just what I love to do. 99% of brides are super happy and positive and can't wait to get married. And so I like sharing that special day with them and the girls and being a part of their little day slumber party. Aww. And it's just, it doesn't feel like work, honestly. Yeah. I, very blessed to do what I do and when I got married I loved my day so I kind of feel like it you yeah. know reconnects me with what I went through and it's just awesome and seeing all the times change with hair I love being challenged and doing new things so it's just I have a strong passion for it so thank god I I never get bored I love that's, it that's incredible because like you just said, time has changed, and I mean, we can go look back and remember when they were teasing here and backcombing and the updo. So you've probably seen it all. I have, and it's, oh. it's neat. They always some things always kind of come back though. Yeah, oh, you know. Don't tell me. Even that. though the they back change, is coming they, back. Oh gosh, <laughs> yeah. There's lots of different things that always kind of come back, so it's nice. I my mom was a hairdresser. Oh my so gosh, wow. she taught me a lot of little tricks. Yeah. She was um, a hairdresser in the 70s, so she... Wow. Yeah. She's, she's been, seen it all. Yeah. <laughs> she had a strong passion for her, too, so she's kind of the one who got me started and yeah. um, thought I would have a, a love for it, because she did, yeah. and she encouraged me, and I'm so happy she did, because I always loved what I've done. Oh, well, it definitely shows. Aww. I mean, your place is so cute. The one thing I noticed, and we'll do a pan around the room as well, but you have one styling chair and you have one uh, washing station. Mm -hmm. So that kind of tells me you're focused on one client at a time. Yes. Would I be right? Yes. Okay. I definitely. And why is that? Honestly, I honestly prefer to kind of do one client at a time. It gives me lots of quality time with that person and yeah. I can have a lot of one-on-one -on -one conversations with them and they can get spoiled by me, which yeah. is a lot of the reasons why my clients love coming to me too. They love being able to be honest with me, talk to me, get advice from me and yeah. vice versa. And I love that it's just private to where we can kind of have our alone time. Yeah. So it's, it's, I do prefer actually the sweet situation rather than like a big, so yeah. long when everyone can kind of hear, yeah. you know, stuff. Just, so. I mean, it feels really private and it feels like you can walk in here and just have, you know, if you took two hours out of your day just to get some pampering, like this would be the place you definitely would want to be. Yeah, right. it's really cute. Really, okay. really. Everything like is really put together. So like what is some of your goals and some of your, you know, you already said what your passion was, but some mm -hmm. of your goals for your business. Well, I actually, a couple of years ago, moved to Temecula area. Uh -huh. So there's many, many weddings in the winery and the wine country. And I would absolutely love it if I could eventually be on many, many preferred vendor lists right. out there and work closer to home yeah. with just doing lots and lots of weddings on the weekends. So I'm like, I'm going to get it. I'm going to do it. I'm going to be put on those preferred vendor lists. So that's kind of like a future goal for mine is to just keep growing in the wedding industry and doing three to four weddings a weekend. I would love that. That would be an amazing goal. You can do it. 
I, I'm going to do it. No, yeah. I'm you're, no, you are going to do it. I'm <laughs> telling you, your stuff. I mean, you can tell, right? Like when you walk into a place, just the vibes that you get. Mm -hmm. If you know, there's towels on the floor or stuff, you could kind of already tell the kind of service you're going to get. When we walked in here, it just seemed like you were waiting just for us, which makes your client already feel like, oh my gosh, like I have like some quiet time, yeah. some personal one-on-one. -on -one. So if you take that time and go the extra mile for your clients, oh my gosh, I could just imagine how they feel when they walk out and their hair is all done. I love it. That's yeah. actually why I love my job is to get them <laughs> saying, oh, Erica, my hair never looks like this. It's so pretty. I wish you could do my hair every day. Like it's, it's fun to see everyone smile yeah. and just feel beautiful. I love making anyone feel pretty and confident yeah. and uplift them. Lots of times they come in and they're down and they're sad over things going on in their life. And right. they say, I always leave here in a good mood and I love that about you. So it, it is oh. true. It's kind of yeah. neat with that little connection too. That's oh. really good. And it also is the sign of a true professional. So mm -hmm. that's really good. So tell us, I mean, where can people find you? Are you on Facebook, Instagram, I'm Twitter? I'm on Facebook okay. for Beauty Ever After, which is okay. my wedding business. That's what it's called, Beauty Ever After. Okay. And my Instagram is at Erica Beauty Ever After. And I do like to post a lot of my work, um, weddings I do, just different mm -hmm. stuff. I actually specialize too in um, selling halos. Okay. They're right over here, these halo couture oh. extensions. Yeah. They're awesome. I love them. They're easy. I've worn many extensions in my life from the clip-ins to the tape-ins and these are my absolute favorite. They go in so easy. I think I want one. Yeah, they're amazing. <laughs> they're super fun. One. They come in many lengths and so brides can purchase those. I mean, they're for anybody. Anybody who wants their hair longer and thicker, yeah. then it's just a easy thing. So. Oh. I might have, I might be booking an appointment. I suggest you guys do too. I mean, what else? Yeah. You can walk in looking at one person and walk out looking like somebody totally different, right? right? Hey, yeah. sometimes we need to step of our step out of our little box and yeah. we need to feel a little more confident. There you and, go. I'm telling you, a halo will definitely give you a little more pep in your step for sure if you put it okay, on. Okay, there's a halo with my name on it. <laughs> All my clients are like, sure. I need one. I'm like, you do need one. Yes, <laughs> I'm definitely in for one. Right. So, but um, other than that, is there a phone number? Do you want to give people, so if somebody wanted to make an appointment, how do they reach you other than social media? And um, It's all know? on my social media. Okay. My phone number is, if you want me to give it, 619-654-4342. You guys can text me. I respond faster that way. Okay. Um, or my uh, website is beautyeveractor.com. You can email me that way. And awesome. uh, I also do obviously cut and color too. So right. it's not just wedding hair that I do. I love doing um, coloring and cutting during the week. So I'm a, I'm a busy girl. Yeah. I, I, work, I work a lot. One, I mean, we always ask like what separates you from everybody else, but I think we already know your personal time, all that passion you have, I could tell that you definitely bring a higher, you know, level to, with your game. So what else, if I missed anything, like what separates you from anybody else in the field? Honestly, most of the time my clients have said, it's just so obvious that I have a passion for hair because I take tons of quality time on them and they, they know I love what I do. I'm happy, I'm smiling, I'm not, I don't just do it for money. And it's very obvious that I actually have a joy in doing it and I love to create. And so I think I don't just do it, like I said, for money. It's just something that I absolutely love when I have a hobby creating cool. and everyone can kind of tell because I'm always in a good mood pretty much, yeah. you know? So well, it shows. It yes. absolutely shows huh? and you've been a pleasure. Oh. So you guys definitely show Erica some love. Make sure you like our video, you share it. Don't keep us a secret. Share it, tell your friends about it. Show Please. up if you want to, she'll <laughs> take you. But make sure you have a reservation or an appointment because she does have one clientele at a time policy. Okay. So um, we will repost all of her social media handle. Uh, definitely look for it. And like I said, leave us a post, leave us a comment. If you want to leave a message for Erica, you can leave it on our YouTube channel. But definitely check it out, show us some love. And Please. thank you so much. Thank, thank you. you. Aww, thank you. Thank you so much. Yeah.